Police in central El Paso continue to investigate an incident in which an officer fired his weapon. It happened on Altura Avenue around 9 this morning. ABC 7's Liloba Tituro has been there all day and joins us now live with the details. Liloba. Stephanie, I'm on Altura Avenue, right where it meets Boone Street. Now, officers, they've been here all morning investigating that shooting, as you said. I want to give you an idea of what it, where it is. Uh, look here behind me. You see that red Jeep? The house is about two houses over. You can see, I'm going to pan the camera here. You can see some police activity. I want you to see just how close this is to Coldwell Elementary School. This is why this road has been blocked off for the day as officers investigate. I was driving because I'm at work and then I have a year old, she's in second grade and then I'm like, what's going on? Terrified parents trying to come to terms with a shooting near Coldwell Elementary School. It happened just after 9 this morning on Altura Avenue, a stone throw away from where children were learning for the day. Police say someone called to report a domestic violence incident. They say someone in that home was armed, so they deployed a beanbag round. An officer also fired a shot from his weapon, but police tell us no one was hit. Two people, though, were taken to the hospital, one with serious injuries. For parents... With everything that's happening um, at the schools, all these shootings and everything, you get scared. As soon as you see anything near a school, people get involved. Especially here in El Paso, we're very worried about our children. This man works at Coldwell Elementary School. When we saw him, he was trying to start his shift for the day and couldn't figure out where to go. He told us he had spoken with some of his co-workers and knew the children were safe. And the most important thing right now, as, as you said, the kids are safe right yes, now, Yes, ma'am, right? yes, ma'am. Like I mentioned before, my other partner is already inside with the kids and everything, so I'm the only one that usually leaves work and comes back and everything. But, I mean, as far as the kids, they're safe. The best outcome in situations like this. Stephanie, when you last saw me, when our viewers last saw me an hour ago, there were evidence markers uh, lying all over the road there. One of them was actually near a sign that warns people to slow down. We saw investigators come. We saw them pick them up. So I asked an officer here, I said, does that mean you're going to wrap this up pretty quickly here and open up this road? She said she simply couldn't say. Live in Central El Paso, Lilo Basitiro, ABC 7. We'll continue to monitor it then, Lilo, but thank you.